The Peenemunde military test site on Usedom Island in the north of Germany was one of the most modern technological facilities in the world in the years between 1936 and 1945. Up to 15,000 people worked here to develop the first large-scale rocket, which can be considered the prototype of all later booster rockets, both military and civil. Today, the Historical Technical Museum in Peenemunde is an international meeting place at the authentic place. Peenemunde, the Historical Technical Museum. The first successful launch of a rocket into space in Peenemunde in October 1942 marked one of the most spectacular, but at the same time one of the most dangerous technological breakthroughs of the 20th century. From the start, the research under the scientific direction of Werner von Braun was directed towards one goal only, achieving military superiority through advanced technology. The ambivalent nature of technological progress is uniquely reflected in the story of Peenemunde and is the main focus of the Peenemunde Historical Technical Museum today. It is housed in the power station of the former army testing site. The museum was opened in 1991 and until today more than 5 million visitors came to Peenemunde. The exhibition illustrates the historical development that led from the dreams of the early rocket pioneers to the systematic development of the first large-scale military missiles in Peenemunde and their serial production and use in warfare. However, Peenemunde was not only a place of technology and innovation. Slave labourers, concentration camp inmates and prisoners of war provided the work that enabled the success of the engineers in so short a period of time. In the exhibition, biographies and interviews with witnesses of the events illustrate the different living environment. Preparations for mass production of missiles at Peenemunde came to an end in August 1943 by a massive air attack by the Royal Air Force. A new factory for rocket production was then set up in underground tunnels near Nordhausen in the Harz Mountains. The horrendous conditions in the specially built Mittelbau Dora concentration camp claimed more than 15,000 lives. The Peenemunde power station is one of the few remaining buildings of the Peenemunde testing facility. An exhibition in the boiler house is devoted to the history of the building, which is an anchor point of the European route of industrial heritage today. The restoration of the power station in 2010-11 was awarded the Europa Nostra Award. Today, the Peenemunde Museum is an international meeting place. Every year, major events such as the annual concerts in the former turbine hall of the power station make Peenemunde a focal point of national and international cultural activities. During the very first Peenemunde concert in 2002, the museum was awarded the Coventry Cross of Nails for its efforts towards reconciliation and peace. In 2013, Kurt Mazur conducted the Baltic Sea Youth Philharmonic in Peenemunde. The Turbine Hall has a size of about 1,600 square metres and is a unique venue for all kinds of events with up to 1,200 participants in an awesome industrial architecture.
Also, the boiler house with approximately 770 square meters and room heights of up to 30 meters is an extraordinary setting for different occasions. Penamunda, the Historical Technical Museum, 